Hello folks, uh, this is what I've been working on for the past few months and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's very rough at this point and I'm looking for feedback to make it better. Uh, the series is aimed uh, at children 8 years old and up because according to PJ, 8 is about the age that children can begin to understand more complex concepts. So if you liked it, I would like to have your 8 year old child watch it and see if they think it was too hard to understand. If you can, maybe you could ask them questions about what was in the show. I need to know if I need to go into more detail or if it's fine at the pace it is. As I get better at animating, I hope to get these higher quality and perhaps to a 20 minute episode. Though I'll have to invest in a much faster computer, perhaps several. Anyway, you artistic folks, please send me feedback on how I can make this video more enjoyable visually, whether it be the octopi themselves or the background. Also, if anyone wants to volunteer to do subtitles in other languages, please send me a letter in English and let me know. I need to make sure that you can actually translate, not just copy from Babelfish. Natives to the countries where the languages are would be ideal. This show is being made to counteract the ignorance about critical thinking and the scientific process. I have no plans to include controversial topics like religion or evolution. Uh, I want anyone to watch this and not feel like it's threatening their belief system. I want people to understand how a scientist thinks and why we know what we know. Perhaps this effort will spur a larger enthusiasm and understanding towards science and reason. I have started a new YouTube channel link. It's in the bottom bar. This video alone took around 25 hours to make using Blender, and it's only about half done, so expect a new one in a month, maybe, for now. Uh, it's a lot of work, but I think changing the fundamental understanding of science and thinking in people will help them come to better conclusions about reality, and they'll be much less gullible in the future. Thank you. Okay class, let's look at options a person can take when they want to approach someone they think is saying something that is not true or misinformed. You could try this approach. No! You're wrong, stupid! I can't believe you would think that! Hey everyone, look at the idiot! Ha ha ha, let's all laugh at him! What a dummy! That would probably be the first thing you would want to do, and it would make you feel good, because you felt smarter than that person. However, you might get some unexpected results that you wouldn't like, and wouldn't help either of you. The first possible response would be that you would get the exact same response from the other person, and you would both get into a heated argument that solves nothing. Or this could happen. Or you could make the person cry. Or that person and everyone around you would think, what a jerk. A reason for this is that no one likes to feel like a person doesn't care about their feelings, and feeling wrong is embarrassing enough. Just imagine how it would feel for it to happen to you, and see how you would like it. No! You're wrong, stupid! I can't believe you would think that! Hey everyone, look at the idiot! Ha ha ha, let's all laugh at him! What a dummy! See? It doesn't feel very nice when someone does it to you. Why would you think someone else would like it too? Also, this plan could backfire on you. What if you are actually wrong, and they could prove that they are right? Actually, no, I'm right, and I have a book here to prove it. Dork! Now, you feel dumb for even bringing it up. Humility is very important when it comes to approaching someone. Also, try to imagine how it would feel like if someone did it to you. This is called empathy. So, how do you approach someone without being mean? Do you try this approach so that you won't make them mad? Uh, uh, excuse, excuse me, I, I think you're wrong about that. What? Being shy about it doesn't help you either. As hard as it may be for you, you cannot be shy about something you believe to be right. It's scary and embarrassing, but you have to be able to show that you have something important to say. Otherwise, you could get a response like this. What do you know? You don't know anything, dork. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Sorry. Balance is very important when attempting to approach someone you think is wrong. It may take practice a few times, and don't beat yourself up if you fail a few times. Self-confidence is hard to get. 